There's less than a month left until St. Charles will elect a new mayor. On Thursday night, residents got a chance to hear from the two candidates. LUTV Steve Heinemann was at the debate and joins us with more. Steve? That's right. It was a night of heated politics in our own young auditorium. Lindenwood and the St. Charles Chamber of Commerce co-sponsored the first mayoral debate between Mayor Patty York and her challenger, State Representative Sally Faith. We are here tonight to let you hear our philosophy on issues that matter to you and to the future of our city. I look forward to this because you will see the comparison of two very different people. I think it's important that people are involved in their community and I think it's important that they pay attention and know, uh, know what's going on and you have obviously done that. The two candidates squared off and didn't waste any time in highlighting their leadership priorities. Could both Mayor York and Representative Faith each take a moment to describe their plans to support primary and secondary educational efforts in St. Charles? After the debate, I spoke with each individually. Mayor York says there's a lot going on in this community that needs to continue with her leadership. There's so much going on in this community. Um, the Lindenwood Town Center, the riverfront, the streets of St. Charles, there's so much going on that we just need to keep going forward. And I'm afraid if you come in and you don't know any of this, all of that can come to a stop. We don't want that. As for Representative Sally Faith, she stressed the need for transparency in her priorities. My priority is people first and then buildings and looking at the future and putting a, a long-term plan together and putting money each year at it. Both candidates did very well in conveying their plans for St. Charles, but Mayor York's accomplishments over the past 12 years may give her the edge in the coming election. I've helped provide thousands of jobs and I've listened to you on issues such as fireworks liquor control problems and streamlining city services. If you're looking for a new direction, a direction to be able to look at improvements, to look at um, getting business friendly and getting things done, I'm that person and I thank you for your time. The mayor election will be held on April 5th. We'll have coverage of the election on LUTV. Back to you guys.